I am Anil Kumar and with the help of this video, I will explore the areas which you should understand before even starting calculus. So I am calling it pre-calculus and it could be getting started for calculus, right? So there are a few concepts which you should be very clear in your mind uh, before getting into calculus. It is good time to review all these concepts, right? So that's why I am saying here, all you would like to know to get ready for calculus. Uh, I've thought a lot about it and just given very few things. So what I also thought is that I'll give you some thinking questions as we move forward. So calculus is all about finding tangents or rate of change. And in calculus, we actually define what a tangent is. Till now, you know what a tangent is. You say tangent is a line which touches the curve at one point, right? So you say, well, this is tangent to the circle. You're happy with this definition. You have been happy all throughout your school life, right? 12 years. You said that is the tangent to the circle and it always makes 90 degrees uh, with the edge, right? Perfect. And that is your tangent so far, correct? But this definition really uh, has been an easy way out so far. Now, you could have a curve where where... Uh, the line could touch at one point and it may not be a tangent. Do you understand? Or you could have a curve where the tangent actually crosses at more than one point. Right? So, so you can see for yourself that this definition fails miserably. Right? So, so we need a new definition and uh, we are actually waiting for calculus to give us one. And Calculus is all about this tangent, right? So, so the question number one for you is right there. We have a very simple circle. I'm not making it complicated at all. I'm saying the equation of my circle is x squared plus y squared equals to, uh, let us say, 5 squared, right? So, so that is simplest of all. Center is at the origin, you know exactly. And uh, let me call this point as, uh, since it is on the left side for me, I'll say minus 3 and 4, correct? So 3 square plus 4 square square root gives me 5, the radius, right? So we know that the radius of the circle is 5 units. Your question is very simple. If you can answer this, you can move forward without looking into any video on tangents, right? So you need to find equation of tangent. Equation of tangent is your question. This is the line L1, and that is that is line 1, given from all these conditions. So this line 1 is tangent to a circle, which is described as x squared plus y squared equals to 5 squared, and it touches at the point minus 3, 4. I've given all that to you. What you need to find is equation of the tangent. If you know the solution of this, then only thing which you could try is you could transform the circle a bit, and, you know, you can attempt the second question. Well, the second question could be, I'll translate the center and write the equation as x minus 2 whole square plus, let's say, y plus 1. How does it matter? And I'll keep this radius same for you. Okay, then you can do the same question for the second question. So that becomes your thinking and test question for understanding whether you are ready for pre-calculus and if not what you have to look forward is review equation of lines and tangents of course right so that is what you got to review okay so we are done with the first part next what you need to know is uh, how to relate functions so we'll say composition of functions right so we say composition of functions uh, let me make it very simple. That means relating one to the other. So that is the kind of thing. Uh, for example, let me give you a challenge question here also. And these questions, uh, uh, I'm sure 90% of people will not be able to answer them. That's why I'm calling them challenge questions, right? So they're not easy, okay? Don't think that if you don't know these questions, you're not ready for calculus. You are absolutely ready, but you have to do a bit more than what you think you are at. So let us say the dimensions are A, B, and C, and so we know the perimeter, right, of this. You also know the area, correct? A perimeter is A plus B plus C, and this is right triangle. You know the area also, correct? 
Now, when we talk about composition of functions, you're writing area in terms of the side lens, perimeter in terms of side lens, but now the question is, write area in terms of perimeter. So you have to write area in terms of perimeter, and some of you can also try perimeter in terms of area, right? So, so just do it. So that could be a good composition question for you to test it out. Now, if you don't get this, or if you have no clue about it, then you have to really look into composition of functions. I'm going to provide you with few links, right? And also, you could do functions like, you remember, uh, we have a cone, for example, correct? So we have a cone here, and within the cone, if I have to inscribe a cylinder, let's say that's the cylinder, and we want to have maximum volume, right? So it should be only up to here. Okay, that's fine. So we want maximum volume for the cylinder. So in that case, uh, what we are given here is, let us say, okay, let me give you a simple value here. Let's say this dimension is uh, 10 centimeters and the height for the cone is, let us say, 16 centimeters. Good values to work with. Now find the maximum volume of the cylinder. So that could be a good question for you. You know, it's application of quadratic formulas for you, not so difficult. Uh, but, you know, some of you have left maths for a long time. So reviewing those things could be critical at this moment, right? So look into these. Now let's get back to some more interesting, let me think about. Most interesting is factoring, right? So factor polynomials. Uh, I'm not writing polynomials here because I may give you radicals also. So factor, okay, good job. So factoring is very important concept. And for factoring, uh, what you could do is, you could try to factor questions like, uh, simple, let me write x cubed minus 8 cubed for the time being. So that could be difference of cubes, right? So which you should know, perfect. Uh, okay, now I could have factoring as x to the power of 5 over 2 minus x to the power of, uh, let us say half. I'm just keeping it simple. You should know how to factor these. And now you understand what I'm trying to do here is, so I could write some number, let's say, let's, let's keep it simple. Okay, x minus x to the power of something, and I need just one, so, so let me write 6 here. Okay, minus 6. Okay, x to the power of minus 2, and I, I'll put this as minus 1. Okay, good. So, if I have something like this, how to factor these type of factors, right? So, factoring, you should be really good at. And uh, you should review uh, polynomial division, okay? So, polynomial division to factor perfect. So, because in calculus, we'll be having many equations which will be actually equations of polynomials, right? So you need to review this aspect and understand factoring techniques. I'll give you a link on factoring techniques also. So I think that's a good point to go about. Uh, and what else? What else? Okay. Now, we said initially that rate of change is most important. So rate of change is most important. So word problems relating to rate of change instantaneous rate of change some of you have done right rate of change now all this requires difference quotient method right difference quotient right you remember that that is f of <coughs> x plus h minus f of x divided by x plus h minus x which is just h right? that difference quotient for different uh, uh, functions you should do that okay so that is that is very critical and now let me name one which i think you should definitely look for is rationalize rationalization now rationalization is a huge topic i have link and some examples you could rationalize uh, numerator you could rationalize denominator right or both you could rationalize both so that is another very interesting case which you should be doing and uh, you know rationalize examples could be right square root of x plus one minus x over let's say x right so we could have examples like this to rationalize in this case since you see square root the radical sign the numerator 
you should be rationalizing the numerator perfect so these are a few things where you should definitely review and get ready for calculus i hope that really helps this is a very extensive list and i will actually provide you links for each and every topic and you can get into as much detail as you want since i have 100 related videos on these topics correct so go through them and prepare yourself for calculus and in calculus we'll begin with limits i hope that helped so limits is our next topic to discuss so once you're ready click on limits and get started thank you and all the best